We're going to get started today, continuing on our theme for the week of Facebook. We're going to talk about Facebook Marketplace. Firstly, we're going to talk about what Facebook Marketplace actually is. Something to note right off the bat is that this is a marketplace where there's no listing fee. And this is one of the very attractive features of the application or platform. And it is also used by 800 million people each month. So it's very widely known and popular. It allows you to find items that you can buy or even sell your own personal items as well. And it's very handy because if you already have a Facebook account, you don't even need to sign up for it. Additionally, it is accessible on mobile and computer devices. So it's very helpful to you, whether you're using your phone, tablet, or a computer. And there are even some items that are eligible for shipping to make it easier for you to actually get the items. Now, of course, there are always some pros and cons to anything to do with technology or applications. So firstly, some great things about it is that you can find very good bargains on all kinds of different items. So these things can be heavily used. They can be brand new. They can be somewhere in between. There are so many choices and so many people out there looking to get rid of their things. There are even some free items if people are, say, moving away or just trying to clear out their basements or garages. You can really get some great items for zero cost. There's no additional fees to use Facebook Marketplace, meaning you don't have to pay as a user or to list your items. And it's also very easily to reach out and communicate with buyers and sell sellers, and you have the ability to haggle as well. But on the other end of this, there are some negative aspects, including the availability of items depends on the population of your area. So if you're in, say, a small town, it may be harder for you to get items, whereas if you're in a big city like Toronto, there's a lot more going on there and people who are willing to buy and sell. So it's more, um, there's a lot more activity going on in certain areas. Also, the quality of items and service will vary between products, so you need to keep an eye out for bad deals. Nobody's really going through and making sure that the costs are fair or something that will be good for you, so make sure that you're not being ripped off. And the Facebook um, platform itself doesn't actually vet buyers and sellers, so it's not regulated. And there are also some risks of safety concerns, as many of the situations you'll be in, you'll have to meet up with the seller in person. Um, I will touch a bit more on that later on, but it's important that you are keeping your own personal safety top of mind, just because there are people out there who may be looking to take advantage of you. Now we're going to go right into how to use Facebook Marketplace. Firstly, you're going to want to log into your Facebook account. And then on the left side of your homepage, you will see multiple categories, including COVID-19 information center, friends, groups, and then the section we're interested in is marketplace. And it has this little storefront icon. It's blue. So you're going to want to click on this button. From there, you can use the search bar to type in an item that you're looking for or you can also browse different categories. So something I really love about Marketplace is that it, depending on what you're looking for and if you know what you're looking for, there are lots of different ways to find products. So if you know exactly what you want, go ahead and search it up in the search bar. Say if you're looking for a desk, you can just type it right in. Or if you wanna to go to a more broad category because you're not exactly sure what you want, then you can go there. So there are lots of searching techniques or browsing techniques for all different desires that you may have. Also, you can adjust your location to find sellers near you to make the exchange convenient and make sure that it's actually a viable thing to do. Then once you see an item that you're interested in, you can click on it to find out more information. And it's super important that you're reading through the information section, such as the condition of the item, the price, as well as the location. 
In this area, once you've already clicked on the product, you can also contact the seller to learn more and importantly, express your interest in purchasing the item. And from there, you can make an agreement on the selling of the product, or you can decide that it's not for you. So you can just take in more information from that. And I'm really gonna show in depth how to do this in the live demonstration. There's also the opportunity for you to actually sell your own items. And to do this, you want to click on the Create New Listing button. And it's located in the Marketplace menu on the left-hand side. And it is written in blue, and there's a plus sign there. So this is how you'll know where to go. And from there, you will select your listing type in order to make sure that it's clear what category you're selling in. For example, if it's an item for sale, a vehicle for sale, or a home for sale or rent. So these are just some broader categories that Facebook has created to make the buying and selling process more seamless. After you've clicked on the category, you're going to want to type in the relevant information about your product. And then you will also be asked to include a picture so that possible buyers know what it looks like and can see its general condition. And from there, you'll be able to post it to the marketplace where it is sent out into the world and you can maybe potentially find a buyer, which is very exciting in my opinion. And once you start buying or selling, you will see all of the messages that you have with people that you may be contacting regarding one of their products or people who are interested in buying something of yours. And you can also choose to receive notifications when certain items become available. And you can set up this function in the notifications tab. So this is really important, this area of the marketplace for communicating with both buyers and sellers alike and then you can learn more. So it's just like a chat. Um, it's very similar to any kind of online chat, whether it's Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, you're gonna wanna just type into the, the field, write whatever you wanna write, and then click send. Now there are some frequently asked questions or FAQ relating to Facebook Marketplace. So we wanna address some of those now, just in case you may be wondering some of these things. So firstly, do I need to have a Facebook account to access Facebook Marketplace? Without signing into the Facebook account, you can look at items on the Marketplace, but in order to contact sellers, make offers, and post your own items for sale, you must be signed in. There are also ratings on Facebook Marketplace. So they have a five-star rating system, and you can rate a seller once you've bought something from them, or if you've just had an interaction with them. This can be super helpful for other users on Facebook who may be potential buyers. So if you had a really, say, aggressive or negative interaction with someone, maybe you can just leave a rating or a review to warn others to not become involved with them, just to protect other people and really play a good part in the community by looking out for others. And you can leave a poor rating again if you have a negative experience. And also we do recommend that you block them or report them to Facebook if you feel is necessary. This is going to be different for different situations, but that's an action you can for sure take if you feel that this is something that needs to be done. Is Facebook Marketplace safe to use? And it has been said that it is safe to use as long as you take the necessary precautions. So a few of them have been listed on the slide, including rather than sharing your private address, you can consider meeting buyers in a public space where other people are around. So you don't want people coming to your actual home as this will give away your personal information and location. So maybe we've discussed in the past going to police stations so that it's close to you know, police who can help if there's any problem, or this will also just def, um, make people not want to do anything, like they're not going to try to steal from you in front of a police station, hopefully, unless they're really living on the edge. So just going somewhere during the day, maybe in the morning, um, make sure it's a populated area. Also, if possible, you want to inspect the item in person before you send them a payment, just to make sure there's nothing broken or they're not ripping you off. 
Also, do not respond to any messages or emails that you receive that are asking you to provide verification codes or account information or personal information. So some people in the marketplace are trying to um, steal people's personal information by pretending to be a buyer or a seller. So never give away your email addresses or passwords of any sorts. Also, if you are selling electronic devices, it's very important that you have cleared any personal information from the device and ensure that it cannot be retrieved. And in order to do this and be confident in this, I would recommend even going to the App Store or Android Store to make sure that it's completely wiped of all information. Now, there are also some restrictions on what you can buy or sell on Facebook Marketplace. So you cannot create listings for animals, prescription products such as pharmaceuticals, adult products, alcohol. There are no job postings available, recalled products, or discriminatory items. There are actual lists of prohibited items on the terms and policies webpage. So if you want to see an in-depth list, you can click on that hyperlink. We can also put it in the chat for you if you want it right now, but just make sure that before you post something, it's one of the items that's actually permitted to be sold. And there are some other great examples of online marketplaces, including Kijiji, eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Craigslist and AliExpress. And some of these we have done previous webinars on, so I would definitely encourage you to watch them if this is something you're very interested in. Um, so we have definitely done Etsy in the past, which is another great option. <laughs> 